guys so now let's talk about alternatives to the regular terminal that's on your app doc right on your launch pad right? when you come here and you click on terminal this is pretty much the default terminal right this is the default terminal that comes with Max and in Linux they also have a default terminal usually like Ubuntu or uh, CentOS they have a, a default terminal but what if you're tired of using that same terminal or you want extra features well there's other ones you know so we have one which is called iTerm2 this one's pretty cool I've actually used it a couple of times it, it basically pretty similar to the regular terminal it has like a few little uh, you know a few little features like you know split screen uh, hotkeys uh, let me see what else you can do a search uh, autocomplete um, you know mouseless copy paste history uh, instant replay which is just pretty much going back on whatever you did uh, basically you can configure it also to change the colors however you want it you know expose tab there's a lot of cool things that it has you know rerun command I mean this is cool like this is the new version version 3 I haven't even tried this one I definitely gotta check it out but it seems pretty legit so it's like you know for you guys that are always looking for the latest and greatest things out there and you just want to try out whatever is new then check out iTerm2 now we have hyper hyper is another terminal which is made with JavaScript HTML and CSS it's made with Electron this is pretty cool because in reality it's just think of it it's like a page <laughs> that's how I look at it you know because it's HTML CSS and JavaScript so you can go in there and customize it however you want you could change the font change the cursors there's so many little things that you could go in there and just customize it to however you want it that it just makes it pretty pretty cool for for developers to work on you know and they have a, a very good documentation in case you want to mess around with the code behind the scenes and even come you know compile your own terminal right so this is pretty cool now of course there's a little bit more advanced like if you just want to download it for what it is for whatever the program it comes with then that's fine but always think about it like this you have so many different options and so many different things that you could change on this all right so that's one now oh my z is on uh, z s h is pretty much it's like in addition to your terminal right it's in reality it's just it's adding a few extra features that you you didn't have here on your terminal this is cool a lot of people like using it you know you have plugins you have a whole bunch of stuff that you can use um you know one of the cool things about it that people like is in the themes like i've seen a lot of people do this where they have you know it shows them what branch they're in on their terminal like people like this stuff right they like to change the colors on, on their terminals everybody's into this, these things guys so basically these are like the top you know top three uh, alternatives to the regular terminal you know me personally what I use is oh my ZSH pretty much is just a regular terminal and then on top of that you put in the oh my ZSH and it just gives you a little extra features like you see the little icon right here the little arrow that means I'm using it and you see here it says ZSH you know you could tell that I'm using it so ain't nothing too crazy but it's just it gives you a couple of cool little features nothing out of this world where you say oh my god I have to get it personally if you feel like oh you want to get something cool something new I will say try iTerm2 or hyper or my CSH is more like an upgrade to your regular terminal another thing that I want to tell you guys is if you are a Atom user make sure you download this terminal for Atom basically you go to preference alright and then go to install and search for Platformio Terminal. See this one? Install it. Of course, I already have it installed, so it says uninstall, but install it. And then pretty much 
on your project, you're going to have a terminal. So right inside of this project, at the bottom, you see this little plus. You click there, and it tells you, hey, you're inside of this project. And now you can use the terminal. You can say ls. You can say cd, uh, node, modules. You can come back, press cd. You can say clear. It's pretty much a, a, a full feature terminal, but inside of Atom. So now you don't have to be working on this here, working like let's say you're working on your code, and then from there jumping into the terminal, having the terminal here. No, now you have everything here inside of Atom, so you never have to leave from here. And what's cool about it is, you know how let's say you wanted to find a project. Usually it comes when you open a terminal, right? It comes up as the home folder right and then you will have to say okay uh, cd to code and then from there come here and be like, okay cd to uh, node and then like it takes you a, a long time to get to the project that you're in right now with this what happens is automatically you land as soon as you open up this terminal you actually land on this folder it's not going to the home folder it's not going anywhere the location that is looking for is here right here on this project so everything that you wanted to do like let's say you wanted to do npm run watch everything is there for you already because you're already inside of the project all right so it's pretty cool it's pretty legit i definitely enjoy having uh, a terminal inside of atom it just makes my life easier you know like i use the terminal as the last last option or last resort because another thing too about this is like let's say I could have here npm run watch so right here I'm running my go watch right and then here I could create another terminal where I could come and do whatever other commands I could go and say npm install uh, dash dash save react right I could do that here so I could install things on, on this window and then now I could switch between different terminals here at the bottom without having to leave my atom or my project so this is pretty legit guys all right so I'll see you guys in the next video where I will tell you guys how to change your themes for your terminal and yeah I'm just here to make your life easier guys all right see you guys later